Well, with summer-like weather this weekend, you probably noticed some bees taking flight. Storm Team 4 meteorologist Ben Gelber has more on the importance of the pollinators in a new Ohio State Learning Laboratory. Ohio State entomologists are hitting the road to teach students about exotic insects and pollinators. Let's go inside the Bugmobile Laboratory, a project more than three years in the making. All of the honeybees and other bee pollinators are out right now. They love the flowering plants in the springtime, transferring that pollen to other flowers. Almost all of the flowering fruits and vegetables require a pollinator. It's estimated that bees factor into the production of one-third of the food grown in the nation. Ohio farmers count on bees to pollinate more than 70 crops. The common pollinators that are irritants are the carpenter bee. You can tell carpenter bees by their large head and shiny body. They can bore into wood. A bumblebee has a much smaller head. You may also spot colonies of ground bees in patches of thin turf in your backyard. The solution? Reseed and fertilize. You can touch it. Ohio State specialists have taken up the challenge of teaching students about exotic insects by bringing a mobile laboratory to the schools. He can fly, not very well. So in here we have some of the exotic animals. She'll hold it. So what we want to do is work with local schools and schools all over the state and then go travel around and we can use this vehicle to do experiments. It can be a classroom, it can be a laboratory, it can be a zoo. This kind of stimulating, exciting way to look at science. It's really different having a live animal right in front of you. You probably noticed the bees buzzing now with temperatures rising as they search for pollen and nectar. And we will have a warm pattern that will keep insects busy over the coming weeks. Local for you in the studio, meteorologist Ben Galber. NBC4.